Welcome to the Magic Tavern. What do you bring to the table? Um, there's, of course, well, let me wait till this comes up and I can point at things. All right, here we go. Uh, the market district, which every town needs because people need to buy stuff. That's one of the one of the top, I would think, top five to ten things you need in the town. Ignore this one. This is special to um, to Prosker or any other caravan town. Residential. You'll have a residential areas, which will include things like low, middle, and upper class, and things that go with uh, residentials. Uh, a civic district. Where all your town halls, your courthouses, your your barracks is for your your military and your guards, cemetery, library, things like that. The artisan craftsman area, which may not be huge, and it may be just certain things. I've got almost a D twenty worth of things to roll up. Um, and a religious district, so that leaves a market, residential, civic, artisan, and religious district, which is five categories. So what I did, I took those five categories and I gave them a one of the dice, the specific dice. Uh, civic, I gave a D12. Uh, religion, I gave a D4. Uh, artistic, or the workman area, craftsman, excuse me, I uh, gave a D20. The residential, a D6. And the market, a D8. And that should explain what's going on here. Because here is the main town. And I'm and you could have wrote this off any way you wanted to. I tried to be a little random about it, but tried to be purposeful. The D8. Is that right? Yeah. The D8 would be the market. So the market is... Fa and here, and here you can see I wrote them in. I threw the dice away and wrote them in. So the market is south of town as the caravan's coming in. Uh, and it's next across from the caravan's. <laughs> The caravan district. Uh, the civic was the D12, and so that's you can't see it here, but the civic district is right there. And then you have the D20, which was the art artisan or the craftsman area. The D6 was the residential, and I expanded it a little more because you need more residential than most everything. And then the market was the D8 at the bottom. Uh, market, religious, residu residual, uh, residential, artisan, and of course the um, the civic. And there you have the, the breakdown. And, and basically I just rolled the dice out there. Totally just rolled it out there. They all landed that way. And so that's how town, the town was built on a kind of a skeleton thing. Now you could break this down, maybe make a bigger map of, say, the residential area and break it down let's bring this back up residential area i had the poor the poor or slums uh, middle class upper class um, they would need their own like inn and tavern or maybe more, more than one uh, i dropped a guard tower in about every place so they can keep, keep and watch on things i put restaurant there that's that's questionable um, but you could p totally make a bigger map of that residential area Get a dice for every one of these that represents them and roll them. Uh, and, or you could take it from here and decide, let's see. Um, hmm, I don't know where the slums would end up. <laughs> Probably close to the religious area so they could take care of them. And and, and the, they, they tend to be more religious. Um, so it's probably closer to here. The upper class might be closer to the artisan area or the market area. It could be either one. Actually, I think the... the closer to the market? Yeah, the, 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 the middle class is where you get your workers, your craftsmen, your, your artisans. Bees. Huh? Yeah. Bees. And so you put those probably up here around that top point. <laughs> um, somewhere up here. So upper class would probably be up here. Middle class, sorry, middle class would be up in here. The upper class would probably be nestled between the market, the religious, and the civic. And the bigger area would probably be just uh, 
the poor class because those all all those things are always with us. Um, you can have the best town ever, like Waterdeep. There's a slum area. That was Panda just passing through. Uh, so you can take a smaller rendition, roll a bunch of dice representing these things. Let me pop that. Do 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 boop. Um, yeah, like the residential, like I talked to you about. Uh, the market district, things like warehouses. Uh, the Merchants Guild would be an important place in the market district. Uh, local Merchant Square, this is where all the things are bought and sold locally. Uh, the House of Swords, okay. That's one of the things I, 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 I failed to mention. We go over here to Prosker. It says at the bottom, where's it at? Okay, it doesn't say anything here. It's a thousand heads trading coster. It's on the trade route. We talked about that. Shops and businesses. A lot of times at the bottom, they'll have this list. It's pretty cool. Um, one of the ends, and I got to figure out how to, it may have been different. Because uh, I've been fighting with the idea of where the Thayan Enclave would end up. So, uh, one of the factors is the caravan route. The other factor is they actually have a Thayan Enclave. And the Thayan Enclaves are basically a plot of the city that's given to the Thayans, which the Red Wizards of Thay thought to be, and they're, they are pretty evil. They are pretty evil, don't get me wrong. But they went into like merchant mode in the last few decades instead of army mode to conquer. And they decided they're going to conquer the world through uh, merchandise. Doing a damn good job at it. The Thane Enclave is a great place to get uh, magical items. Um, if you know the right people and work with underground, you could find some cool slaves too. But we won't go into that. Uh, but they're there. And my, my discussion, and you guys can chime in if you want, is whether the Thayan Enclave would stay with the main city where it's been for a while, or if whether they would pick up new digs over in the caravan district. Um, I'm, st I'm still throwing that up for, you know, food for question. But uh, also a shop called the House of Sword. It's on the list because it's mentioned. It's a named shop. Um, called the House of Sword Armorer's Shop. Um, in the Temple District, I've got listed, of course, uh, the Rogue Redeemed, a local Temple of Mask. And I've told you that they've got a long history with the Thieves' Guild. So it makes sense that there's still a Temple of Mask here, which may, if it's thriving, which I'm not saying it is, but if it's thriving, maybe, or maybe you don't know if it's thriving. It really surprises me there's a Temple of Mass just sit, mask just sitting out in the open like that. But this town, I kind of understand. And then Temple of Tempest, the Holy House of the Lord of Battles is also there. Those and maybe some minor shrines to other gods. Um, I have a feeling there's probably a shrine to Joaquin. I'll probably put one in the caravan route because those caravan guys love gold and they would probably be praying to Joaquin for good things. So uh, that that's the deal. I haven't decided where to put the Thayan Enclave yet. Let's go back and look at the deal. Um, it will probably be in the market over here, or we're going to move it maybe, maybe when they started building more and more for the caravan district that the um, Thayans moved to better digs over here. I would think they would. I don't know. If they've been there a while, which I assume they have, they're probably dug in pretty damn good. Which means they've got the tunnels down, they've got the underground where they move the slaves. They probably don't want to move. I know what you're saying. You're saying like, well, if they're moving slaves through there, surely the Purple Knights of Cormir could come down and just bust in and find, well, the problem is, the agreement for the enclave is that the soil of which the enclave is on is Thayan soil. Therefore, if you invade the enclave, you are invading Thay. And you're asking for a war, which they just got through with a war not long ago. They're not really excited about jumping back in just yet. Most people, at least.
So we're going to have to. So the um, the armor shop that I mentioned would be in the marketplace. It's a local place. It's been there for a while. The enclave will either be, but it'll probably be over here too, because that what I just said made made sense. But that's the that's the setup that I got for the main city. The artisans, the residential area, the civic area, the religious, the temple area, and the market down here. And then the new part of the town, the caravan district, is right here. Um, covering and all those dice is is something that's um, going to be put there. And back to the list. That's why I said ignore the caravan district because it, it's its own thing. I had to think of a thing in enclave. I think, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to take that into consideration. But the Thousand Head Coster office is definitely there. There'd be a cattle yard and stables because a lot of horses run through there and, and, and livestock. Uh, they'd have their own inn and tavern, probably their own bro brothel slash bathhouse. Uh, a gambling hall, uh, which may be the, the proprietor may be the head of the council, just saying. Um, you have things like cartographer, uh, cart rights, will rights, work on the carts and, and wheels. Um, maybe a fancy restaurant. Eh. Probably means that's misspelled. I always spell, I spell that. Uh, mount grooming, maybe. Horse training. Uh, there might be a master of horses off, office. And you're like, what is the master of horses? Is he just the boss of all horses? Uh, no, he's got, his, that office has its fingers in every bit of horse trade um, races. It's, it's going to become, if you checked out any of our other discussions, uh, the DM discussions, you know that horses are very important to this area. They, there's a lot of breeders, and we are going to get into some horse racing also along the way. So I'm going to figure out a mechanic to deal with that. Um, but, it, of course, the guard tower, maybe two. Uh, the gambling hall, like I mentioned. Uh, an exchange bank. Very important in the caravan town because the exchange is... Because Koromir doesn't allow trade with any other currency but their own. They're one of those countries that's like, if you come in, you need to exchange whatever coin you're dealing with. I don't know how they deal with um, the caravan, though, because the caravan's always through there. Coming in, but, but individuals coming through, or someone who hasn't um, exchange their coin for the Cormarian money, this is the place to do it. And that'd be an important place in the caravan uh, district. Uh, the Thousand Head office, the cow yard, the stables. And so any of those or all those will probably be a part of this dice roll, of which I also, hmm, there you go. Uh, I also have a map that has a point for each one of those. And so I may go on from there to decide where all those things I just mentioned go. Uh, because you need, probably the south part will be a lot of stables. A big stable. Um, there'll also be times, and I've mentioned this before, um, I've watched a lot of westerns in my time, so you have to excuse me. But I, I, I feel like, like the Old West, medieval is, of course, a step up, in a well, actually a step back in a different direction. But when I hear them talking about moving horses along the trade route, I think of the great cattle drives in the Old West. And there were cattle drives in, in here also. So um, I can see them driving large amounts of horses back and forth along this trade route. Um, maybe the coster can keep, you know, the Rhea Boar breeders from getting mad at the Cormier breeders, from getting mad at the Symbian breeders and the Waterdeep breeders. They're all over the place. They're, they're breeding horses like crazy. It's a big business in this area, and we will have to deal with that. And the other business, and I, 
I I guarantee you, um, Hawkhead, Panda, uh, probably going to be dealing with a lot of gem and jewelry and forging smithies. <laughs>